Hi everyone, today, we are going to see, how to create, mosaic photo reveal. Watch the full video. Please don't skip the video. Let's get started. I'm using After Effects 2022 version, but you can use any versions to do this effect. Open new composition. 30 frames and 30 seconds duration. Again open a new composition with same settings and name it as scene 1. Again open a new composition with same settings and name it as placeholder 1. And again create new composition and name it as frame 1. Now create a new folder for images. And now drag your images to this folder. And now you move the first image to placeholder 1. And now you move the placeholder 1 to the frame 1. And now take the rectangle tool. Keep the stroke color white and stroke value 35 and double click the rectangle tool. Now apply the drop shadow effect to the rectangle. And now change the distance, softness and opacity for the effect. Now, open the scene 1 and drag the frame 1 here. Now duplicate the frame 1 for 25 times, or more than as you need. Drag all the frames to the scene 1. Now select all the frames and make these to 3D layer. And now create a null layer, and name it as scale. And now select all the frames, and connect it to scale layer. And now scale down the size of all frames. Move, one by one photo frames, as you need. I'm skipping this part, so we can save the time. Now, after moving all frames, you can see, like this. Now, create new solid, named as background. Now, create new camera, with 35mm. Now, create new null layer. Connect the camera, to the null layer. Change the null layer to 3D. Now keep keyframes, in first frame, for position and rotation for X, Y, and Z. Now keep keyframes, in fifth frame, for position and rotation for X, Y, and Z. Now, select frames randomly, and move the Z position, like this. Now, open frame 2, and then, open placeholder 2, and change to next photo. Like this, you change all the, frames layer. After changing, all frames, you can see like this. You can, adjust the frames, Z position, near to the camera, for good 3D effect. And now, move the same randomly layers, which you change the Z position. Play the scene, and see how it came. Now, create in light, and make it point light. Now, change the point light, Z position. Now, create an ambient light. Now, change the cast shadows, to on, for these frames, which you animated.
Now, change the shadow darkness and diffusion. Now, drag the scene 1 to main composition and duplicate the scene 1. And, now, repeat the same process and create new photo frames in scene 2. Now, create new comp and name it as main photo. Drag the final photo reveal into main photo comp. Create new comp, name it as final photo comp and change width. Drag main photo to final photo. Adjust like this for your photo. Drag final photo to final photo reveal. Duplicate final photo 50 times. Select final photo one by one and mask it with rectangle tool. I'm skipping this part. After finishing masking, select all final photo and keep opacity zero in two seconds. And keep opacity 100 on three second. Create new comp and name as all mosaic reveal. Drag final photo reveal into it and duplicate final photo reveal and drag it also. Now open final photo reveal 2. Duplicate the final photo. Now replace the final photo 2 in final photo 1. Now change the position like this in final photo 2. Now, change these both layers to 3D and change the sale value like this. And now change the position for this two layers like this. Repeat the same process for remaining layers. Now create new comp, name as final scene. Drag the all mosaic reveal into it. Drag the main photo here. Give keyframes for opacity where you need. Now create a background. Apply gradient ramp. Create new camera. Make these two layers to 3D. Adjust the position for camera as you need and also give keyframes for end and beginning. And also adjust the Z position if you need it. And finally, move the final scene into main comp. Now, if you needed, you can create an white solid layer, and you can adjust the opacity values, for making video more good. That's all guys. Now you can take render. Please give comments for each video we upload. Your support will makes us post videos regularly. Like and subscribe to our channel.